Hey everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found Where Thrifted is the New Black. I had previously recorded a haul video from my most recent trip to the Boston uh, Goodwill outlet. I went with some girlfriends. I had a wonderful time. Um, I was going to hold off on this video, but I just wanted to get it out to you. So I'm like trying to trick you by putting my sweatshirt on that I wore for the video three days ago <laughs> and come back and send you a greeting. So anyways, stay tuned for my haul. I got, uh, I think I added everything up and I got about 55 items for just $100. Once everything is listed and sold from this haul, um, my average selling price is somewhere around $30, um, in which case this haul should generate about $1,500 in sales before Poshmark fees. Poshmark does take 20% of everything. However, um, this was a little off what I wanted to do. My plan for this month was to list 100 items, purchase 20 as a reward, list another 100 items, purchase another 20. And truthfully, I'm at about 65, 70 items extra this month, so way above the 40. I have listed, um, it is February 22nd, and as of today, I've listed 190 items. My new goal is 300 in the month since I've done extra shopping. So I wanna get 200 from my death pile, plus the new stuff that I've purchased, and an extra 25 for good measure. So that's my new goal. Let's get into the haul. Okay, that's better. I'm making a few adjustments because I'm not used to filming down here, so I shut the overhead lights off. So I'm going to get into it. It's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna to try to go fast. I think I have about 50 or 60 items, which is crazy. It was good pickings today. Okay, I am going to start. <laughs> Somebody put these back and I really wanted them. Um, they definitely need to be hit with like my magic eraser, but these are just yellow, bright yellow Crocs and they are a women's seven. I also got these Palladium men's boots. These are in a size eight and a half, really great condition. The shoes were good today and I had friends with me. So it's like so wonderful when your friends are there to help. I literally took these from a guy at checkout. They are just purple Converse, again, in really good condition. Usually Converse are super beat up when we find them there and somebody was tossing these back. So these are a men's size eight really great for spring. These were the Allbirds that my friend Marguerite noticed because they are a big Allbirds family. These are a women's 10. Um, I'm going to need to soak these. I decided to take a chance on these because I loved the color. So they're a little bit worn on the bottom, but I'm literally just going to soak these in my magic mix, which, which is equal parts of um, peroxide, Dawn liquid, and um, What's my, oh, baking soda. So I'm gonna combine those and just soak these because I really love this color for spring. So these cost me the 350 on my way out the door. Um, I got this for the little boy I used to nanny for. I'm gonna see him tomorrow and he's like a year and a half and I just thought that was so cute. So I'm gonna toss that. I got a few bathing suit bottoms, which were random pickups, but I think they're a dollar. These are just the Ralph Lauren ones. The reason I picked these up was because they were in mint condition. Um, there's no size here. They look to be about a medium. But when I pick up separates, I tend to have a lot of tops in like all different colors. So this could go, this could complete a set or like do a mix and match and look really cute. So I picked that up, that up. And I think I got like an Athleta one too. I also picked up this one piece Nike bathing suit. I know when my daughter um, was getting certified to be a lifeguard, um, she needed these style bathing suits and they were expensive. And this it, like has the pads inside. It's in really good condition. It is a size eight. So I grabbed that, you know, probably 20 or $30 for that. This was crazy. I couldn't put this down. This is no brand, I don't think. Meal Gabrielle. So I just thought this was so much fun. I love camo. And it's a camo sequins dress. Isn't that really fun? I love all the colors. It's great. Um, this is a size large. I loved that it was a little bit of a bigger size. Super, super cute. I liked that. I got two Bagalini bags. This is the first one that I picked up. Bags are $2 at these bins. So I really liked this pattern. This was immaculate on the outside. It had a little bit of, um, like just a little dirty on the inside. I may just wipe it down with a baby wipe and see how it goes. 
um, but it's a really nice size. And then it also has like this little clutch attached inside. I do very well with this brand, Bagolini. I'll show you the label. Uh, maybe there we go. And it's also a crossbody. So you can wear it as like a little tote bag or you can wear it as crossbody. I thought that was a really cute pattern. I picked up a couple ties. This was a Vineyard Vines tie that I picked up. And these look like, oh, they're little baseballs and little baseball helmets. So cute. Here's the Vineyard Vine tag. We tend to find a lot of Vineyard Vines around these parts outside of Boston. I don't know, maybe $15 for that tie. Ties are $1. Here's the other Bagolini bag that I got. Again, I really tend to go for the crossbodies. This one is amazing. It has like the compartments inside. Uh, looks like a little bit of something here that I probably could get off. But yeah, this was a great pickup. I love, love getting Bagolinis that are in good shape. This is a J. Crew, just like a black basic V-neck, a uh, black label, I'm sorry, gray V-neck. I just think this is a really nice sweater. I didn't see any holes. I looked it over really well. Um, this is, like I said, a size small, and I always look to see when it was made. Um, so this was holiday of 2012. So I was under the impression that this label was a little newer than that. The, the newest label for J. Crew has the cursive writing, but I just thought this was a really good basic. This reminded me of a good piece people would bundle. So I got that. This was one of the first things I picked up. And one of the reasons I love the Boston bins is because they do have a boutique section in their Goodwill store, which I've mentioned before. So um, if they price something high, it doesn't sell and it's likely to end up at the bin. So I have a few pieces that I'll show you that were an example of that. So this is a Zara jacket. They had this marked $14.99 and it's just a Zara basic, but it's so adorable. It's like this little double-breasted, collarless, kind of like a warm vibe, but this would actually be a great transition piece. And I just sold a really nice Zara military coat. So I do like picking up their coats when they're fashionable like this. I just thought this was a really cute piece. Um, I will be honest, I didn't run comps as much as I should have today. There was a crazy energy in there today. A couple feisty people. Um, I made the mistake of touching something like I was honestly just zoning out because it's a pet peeve of mine when people grab stuff before um, the bins are all in. So the way that the bins work, if you're unfamiliar with the Goodwill Outlet or the bins is they roll in these bins of clothing and usually they'll bring in like six to eight at a time during a rotation and you're not supposed to touch until the last one is in. So I was like talking to my friend and I was at the way end and I started touching them and this guy screamed at me from across the way and I was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry and he's like oh yeah I'm sure you're really sorry that's why you were touching everything we're all waiting here and the thing that was crazy about that is I agree with him like I get really annoyed when people grab stuff before they're supposed to and I'm like honestly it's all good I'm sorry he's like it's not all good like he was mad at me he just kept going off and then my friend bumped into this other guy and he's like lady if you touch me one more time there was a lot of Boston attitude going on today at the bins. I was with my friends and I just don't care. So I just laughed. But anyways, that guy was so mad at me. I'm like, dude, if you only knew how much I actually don't touch things before we're supposed to. Um, I loved this dress and it's kind of funky. This is bar three. I've never picked up this brand before or not that I can remember. I see it a lot. Look at these crazy sleeves. I love this floral pattern. They're like these heavy sleeves and it's a v-neck and it's got the belt that goes with it i just love the color combination like the light blue and the pink with the black this is a size small and the comps on these bar three dresses were anywhere between like 18 and 40 dollars so for a dollar 75 for a dress i feel like sometimes you get a better return on your investment for dresses i just loved this and i thought it was really unique so i'm hoping to get between 25 and 30 lighting's a little weird in here i'm not used to it Oh, I picked this up for my husband. This is just an Eddie Bauer medium. I usually don't pick up Eddie Bauer, but this is such a J shirt for the spring. That will go over there. This was a good pickup. Oh no, this wasn't. This is not bad, but it's not what I was thinking it was. So this is just a J Crew skirt. This seems like brand new. It's this very nautical looking skirt with the gold buttons. I thought very classic, very New England. Um, and it is a size six. 
I don't know what year this is from. This is from spring of 2013. This looks like brand new, but I really thought that was cute. Skirts are just so easy to photograph, so easy to store. They don't take up a lot of room. I was happy about that. This piece I had to have. This was just one of those. This is a vintage piece. This could be either, I think it's a blouse because it's too short to be a robe, but the colors in this are so beautiful. And I think this is gonna photograph really well. Um, the only thing that the tags say is that it was made in the USA, but I just thought the colors on this were fantastic. So I look forward to listing this and taking the photos. So this is fun. I, have, I always find such random things there. Marguerite found this for me, my good friend. So she held this up and it looks like Ralph Lauren, but if you know this, you know this. And I was like, wait a second, that does not look like Burberry. She's like, it's not, it's Burberry's. Like, and she thought it was a knockoff. I'm like, no, that is just old. Is um, So it had the Burberry's and it's children. So it's like a children's jacket and it's very un-Burberry to be honest. Like this looks more like Ralph Lauren but um, it's like a kid's jacket, so who knows? Maybe $25 if I'm lucky for this, but I'm not gonna not pick up Burberry, but I thought it was kind of interesting. Not a piece I have ever seen before. So yeah, Burberry's kids. What else here? Here's another tie, um, and this is the brand Pink, and I thought this was a really nice tie for spring. It's like little flowers if you look real close. My other friend found a Burberry tie and she accidentally put it down and then we couldn't find it later because I'm sure somebody picked it up, but what are you gonna do? Um, I did pick this up. This was also marked up in the store. So the, the brand BB is not necessarily my style, but I have to say, I think I have like a 100% sell through rate with this brand. So for whatever reason, people like it. And this is just like a little silk cami. It's 100% silk and it has like the gathering here. I just thought it was really pretty. Again, it would photograph well. It won't take up a lot of space. I passed on so many sweaters today. Good sweaters like vintage J. Crew roll neck sweater. I need to start thinking about spring and I'm bursting at the seams with sweaters. So I was actually really happy to pick up some of these lighter pieces. Also great for bundles. This, these I got at the register and I shouldn't have picked these up. You know what? I was confused because the bottoms looked really good and my friends kind of gave them to me at the register. They're Ugg boots, but they're pretty beat up in the toe. Um, that's probably why the, the guy who gave me the Converse handed these over too. And again, I was at the register. It was total mayhem and I was just checking out. So got a few Lululemon pieces, that tank that has like the gathering here. I like that it was at least black. It was a good basic and you can wear like a normal bra with this, which is also nice. And it's a size 12. So all those things, I didn't realize that when I picked this up, but this is a size 12. So that will sell. This will be like probably 20 to $25, I would guess for this in the size. I think if this was like a size two, especially given the style of it, I don't think it would do that well, but um, I think a 12 will do okay. My friend Kim, um, it was so funny when we first went shopping together, she's like, well, tell me some brands that you like. And I told her that I like to pick up free people. So we were shopping the first time. She's like, I'm so excited. I found Free Planet for you. I was like, that's not what I'm looking for. She's like, ah. So ever since then, it's been a joke. Um, that she's been on the lookout for free people, but she found like four pieces for me today. I took most of them. Um, one I probably maybe shouldn't have taken, but this was a great piece. This is a small and it's this um, gathered midi skirt. I love the hem, how it scoops. I just think it's super cute and it's like pleated at the top. And I think these midi dresses um, are, are really fun for the spring. I can picture this being worn kind of high-waisted with like a fitted top really adorable. So I was super excited for that. It feels like silk. It's probably not. I'm not going to look right now, but um, I have a feeling that is going to be a good piece. Uh, these I got, probably going to give these to Angelina. So my friend held these up and I'm like, oh, those are totally Old Navy. She's like, no, they're totally J. Crew. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have guessed Old Navy and they were the new J. Crew. So um, these were small. They were probably just from Holiday these are super cute. I'm going to check the comps. I don't expect them to be that much, but they are nice cotton sleep pant and they are the newest label. So I thought maybe $15 or $20. If not, Angie will take them. I picked up this flax piece. If you don't know already, I do have a podcast called Thrifters Villa that I do with my friend Daniela. And we 
release uh, an episode every Monday. And we are starting a new segment called Take It or Leave It, where we give brands and just like, okay, so are you going to buy these brands? Or are you going to take it or leave it? So what are you going to do? And it's just kind of our take. It's not a right or wrong answer, but we feature three brands every week. Yesterday we featured Flax was one of them. And then what was the other one we featured? Everlane, which was like an easy, like, yes, I pick up Everlane whenever I see it, if it's in good shape. And Flax was the other one. And I said yes to Flax, although I passed on one piece that showed a lot of wear. Um, but Flax is like that lagging look, more typically more mature person wears it, but it's always linen. Not always, sometimes it's cotton. I hope I got a linen one, 100% linen. Um, and this is a size large, which is also great. And it's just, an, it's just an awesome basic. So this might be like a $25 pickup, but these retail for an awful lot of money. I like Flax, so I picked up that. This I picked up on style because I just loved it. They had this marked up and you're going to see the brand. And this is like a TJ Maxx brand, if that. It's that um, Japana. Like this is not, this is more like a boutique -y, but I've actually sold one of their, this line, um, caftans before and it sold for like over $20. So look at this adorable dress. This is just like, has such beach, vi beach vibes to me. I love the colors. Like it's just like the blues and the whites. This is again, very New England in the summer to me. I just love this. I'm like a big brand. So just cotton, but I'm excited to list that in my closet. I'll probably list it around $25. Um, I picked these up. So these are Bonobos. I picked up a pair of these the last time I was in Boston. These are 35 30s, which I don't see a 35 inch waist very much for men. Um, but they're really great quality. And the comps on these are between like $25 and $35 for like a nice pair of dress pants. And I just loved the color gray. I feel like if somebody wears those, they're going to recognize the style, the fit. They're, I think it's called the Friday fit, which is really nice. Yeah, I think Friday. So this was a piece I picked up. I didn't run the comps. I probably should have, but I saw this label and it looked very anthro to me. And then I looked at the, um, I looked at the RN number and it was 16670, which I believe is anthro. 66170. Um, but anyways, I just thought the detail was really nice on these. It's just open with these button and buttons, and then it has a hook and eye, and the belt was intact. It needs a little bit of sweater shaving, but overall, just a really cute sweater, nice transition piece. More winter, but still cute. And it is a size extra small, 100% wool pockets. I thought it was cute. Oh, and I just saw a stain. Time out. Did I? A ah, little one little one on the sleeve right there. We'll see. Oh, I have an offer on something. These, my girlfriend Kim found me. I say this all the time. Shop with a friend, preferably a friend who's not looking for the same things you're looking for. My girlfriend Kim has three sons and I just have to say she loves the hunt. Loves the hunt. And like she literally tossed these to me and she's like, tell me you love me. And she like threw these to me. And I picked them and I opened them up and they were Lululemon leggings. And I'm like, I love you. <laughs> but these are, these very like kind of gym sharky looking to me where they kind of curve. Um, I've sold this style before where the leg goes. They're really interesting though. They have ribbing here. There is a website, as I'm sure many of you know, called Lulu Fanatics. So I will go on that site and it's like going down the rabbit hole. I'll be on there for hours, but I will usually find the style that I'm looking for. So um, I picked this up for fabric content. It's another 100% linen. It's like this. I've seen this brand before, but I don't think I've ever picked it up. Like uh, Artists NY. There we go. But look at the colors. I just loved this color palette. Like the off-white linen cream color with like kind of that light brown and green and blue. Just a beautiful popover. And it's just like a few buttons in the front. So again, really cute for the beach. I think this would just be adorable. So I'm hoping for between like 18 and 20 on that. 25 maybe. We're not even halfway through. All right. So these are Under Armour men's shorts, 36 Oh, and I see, holy Moses, what the hell? Look at these. All right, well, that was a good pickup. How did I miss that? Wow, that's really bad. Okay, we're gonna throw those out. Redonate something. 
try to treat them. Okay, these I was really, really excited about. Um, I have not picked her stuff up before, but these are Karen Millen um, of London. These are just like these beautiful, like you can hear them. They're like these gorgeous trouser pants, just like a straight, like slightly flared leg, totally structured. They have this zip closure over here. They're just stunning. Um, these are a very expensive retail. The size is four. They have like a single button on the back. I just think these are beautiful. I did not run comps because I just know the brand and it's, it's a brand I've kind of been looking for. So, I mean, I'm hoping between 30 and 50, but I honestly don't know, but I'm just guessing. Like if I had to list them, I'd probably list them around 55. I have to look, I have so much work ahead of me. <laughs> what did I do? All right, I picked this up thinking Angie was probably gonna want it. Um, it's just Fashion Nova, but I have just had a real soft spot for this cinnamon color lately. I just, I love everything about it. So it's one of the, it's like Teddy material, totally cozy it's got like these it's like this fun color blocking hooded stripe at the bottom and fashion nova is i read someplace before i thought it was like that it's like one of the number one searched brands on poshmark which i find hard to believe however it's not an expensive brand like this probably retailed for 25 dollars. but um i have sold fashion nova before but i i don't like pick it up but i loved that style and it looked cozy and i think Ange will like this I picked this up. I don't typically pick up Chico's, but this is a size two and I loved this. Look at the detail on this sleeve. I mean, this is just one of those tops that I feel would be so flattering and um, I would even take this. It'd be like maybe a little bit big for me, but I don't think that this looks huge. Like I would probably just wear it with jeans. I loved the detail on the bottom and this was a win for me for Chico's and I just, I loved it for $1.75. I mean, I'll probably list that for 30 and see what happens, see what I get. This was, um, I was excited about this. This was the last Lululemon piece and I actually found this, but it's camo and I love their camo stuff. I actually just ordered a camo bag from their final sale and I'm very excited for it to come in and it's all these colors, but I'm a big fan of camo. I can't tell the size on this. Here's another example of um, something that I got probably because they had a price a little high. This is a Club Monaco piece that's priced at $10. Just this really pretty basic with the sheer low V in the front. And it obviously didn't sell at the regular store. So I ended up with it and I was very excited. Um, as you may or may not know, I picked up Club Monaco the last time I was there. And I'm sure I won't get that lucky this time, but the sweater I bought was on their retail site for $298 and the sweater sold for $100 in like five days. So I was kind of in feeling the love for Club Monaco and I think I found two pieces today. This is the Free People piece that I thought maybe I should have passed on, but my friend was very excited she found it. And who knows, I bundle, I sell Free People in bundles like crazy. So I thought it was still really cute. Like I loved the plaid. It was different for free people. I just think of oversized with free people. So if it's not oversized, I'm not usually like I passed on a bodycon dress because those do not sell for me. But look at how cool the inside is. And then this, I mean, this, I think the cropped look might look super cute with high-waisted jeans. I don't know. It was actually in really good condition. I feel like it might be an older piece, but anyways, it is a small, really cute. Actually, I'm happy I got that. It's growing on me. This was one of my favorite pieces of the day and it's not even that exciting. This is just like, if I could, if I had a body to fit in this, I would love this. Look at this J. Crew bathing suit. Is that not just gorgeous? Look at the sleeve. I think J. Crew makes the best bathing suits. Um, I don't even know, summer of 2017, and this is a size four. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited for this. And this probably is not gonna be like my biggest return, but I love that bathing suit. This I hemmed and hawed, and I saw one comp that it had sold for over like $25. It's Walter. Um, the only Walter I know is Walter Baker, but it doesn't say Baker anywhere on the tag, but I'm assuming it is. And I just really liked 
the pattern on this. I thought it was really unique. I think this will photograph well and it's a 100% silk dress for 100% silk dress of a relatively good name brand. Um, so I'm hoping 25 to $35. This I'm giving to my older brother, who's a big Patriots fan, and this is the old school logo. Like, look at this um, pillowcase. I thought this was super cool. So I got that. That's staying with me. Kim found me yet another Free People skirt. This is a 26. It's just like a straight skirt, distressed at the bottom. This on style, it's Ann Taylor. This reminded me of, what would you guess? When I looked at this, I would have bet money that it was Bowden. I just thought this was such a fun print. At this, I couldn't put this back. I don't know why I picked it up and I'm like, I just love this. It looks big for a small. I might try this. I'm like definitely a large, but this looks pretty big to me. But I thought the pattern was really fun. I liked the colors for spring. This my friend Marguerite found for me and it is Athleta. And it's just like a, it's like a tunic cover up in this royal blue, which is a big color this spring. So I'm happy to find some blue pieces. Just really adorable. I believe this is a size small. I love that. A um, bunch of stuff fell. Bra for myself. Um, this was another BB piece that I picked up. And I feel like this is a style that they're known for. I just thought this dress was really beautiful with the nude in the back. It is a small, but it has the tags with. It was new with tags. So $74, and then it was marked down to $69. To $69. Marked from $74 to $69.99. That's not very much of a sale. But anyways, um, I'm hoping to get like $30 for this maybe. Brand new with tag. Can't complain. Um, this I bought for fabric. It's 100% linen made in Italy, Stella Martini. And this is kind of a lagging look, but I loved like the little V-neck and it's very long. It's got like the mother of pearl buttons on it. Just really lovely, like maxi dress. I feel like that's really pretty. And just today I sold a navy blue made in Italy linen. I bought that dress at the bins and I remember taking it home and thinking, I don't know if this is going to sell. It's not like a big name. And it just sold yesterday for $25. So for a bins pickup, if I got $25 for this, I think I'd be pretty happy with that. Um, so linen made in Italy, beautiful fabric, this is soft surroundings. And I loved this. How pretty this is all embroidered, all embroidered. And then it's got like that little lace trim and this kind of like, look at the sleeve here. I just thought this was such a pretty top. And it was a size large, which I like to get soft surroundings in larger sizes. I wasn't sure about this. It's anthropology, Saturday, Sunday, but it's actually so cozy. Um, this is like true lounge. Like it's just got this real stretch to it. You can see it almost looks like a varsity sweater with like the cuffs. I liked the colors for spring. It just reminded me of something cozy that you'd wear perhaps on Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> so I picked it up. I love these neon shorts. I'm definitely thinking spring. These are just J. Crew, J. Crew factory, 100% cotton um, chino shorts in like that neon pink. And they are a size two. Liked those. The rise seemed pretty decent. I'm definitely staying away from anything low rise. Another just like a little tank. This is Caution to the Wind. So another one for Ange. But any of the ones, if she doesn't like them, I'll just list them. But I'm. this is another Soft Surroundings piece. It's another size large. And this is 100% silk. And it's just got the little cross over in the front. I'm weary of buying like solid color silk. Because I just feel like it's so easy to miss a stain. But I'm looking under the lights and I don't see a stain. This is like almost like an elephant gray color. Um, really pretty. This is another Free People piece that Kim found. Not like the best Free People style, but I still thought it was cute for spring. It's very little. It's got this like mock neck with an open back and like a little zipper at the neck. This will not go for a lot of money. I thought the color was cute for spring. Um, probably listed for like $25 and see what I get. I thought this was really nice. This is Banana Republic. And it is the long and lean blazer. It's a size zero, but I really loved the style of it. And I feel like it was a current piece. So it's holiday of 18. I would not have picked this up if it wasn't as current as it is. Um, 
So I think that's it for clothing. And now um, I just have more shoes to show you. So I should get through these pretty quickly and hopefully we'll be done in under 40 minutes. These I thought were adorable. Um, they do need a little bit of help. These are Tom's boots. I thought these were so cute, I, but here's the issue. So there's definitely some wear on the toe, but I really think I'm gonna be able to buff most of that out. And otherwise the shoes are in excellent condition. Um, and these are again, Tom's, which Tom's are like Mets and Mets. They do okay. They definitely have a following. I used to really love them and then things slowed down a lot with them. Okay. These I'm excited about. I really love picking up this brand and these appeared to be new. They're a little bit bigger. I loved the color, but these are Cole Haan. These are gorgeous. Look at brand new eight and a half. It's Relove. It says thirty-seven fifty. It must have come from like a thrift a thrift store, and they had them priced at thirty-seven dollars. The last pair of um, Cole Hans I had, I just showed in my What Sold video recently, and I sold them for fifty dollars. So that would be awesome. Okay, these are a highlight. I did not look up comps, um, but I was super excited. I found um, these are jo um, John Fluvogs for men. And they're these really cool ankle boots and they have like this blue zip and then they have the tag here, DDFT, John Fluvog, DDFT. I don't know if this is some sort of a collab. Follow the beat of your soul. Um, these are so cool. I was really excited when I saw these and they're in excellent condition. Um, so I don't know how Fluvogs do for men. These are a men's size 11. But I have to believe in this condition. Ooh, I'm hoping for good money on these, but I really don't know. Okay. Oh, my friend threw these little baby Keens in my thing. I, I'm really, like, I put back so many kids' clothes. Didn't put it back, just passed on them. But I had to get these. These are, I can't even see the size. They look like maybe a size 10, but like brand new little baby Keens. How cute are those? I got these Lauren, Ralph Lauren giraffe flats. Again, these are in pretty decent shape. There's one little section where the the fabric has, um, the hide has worn off a little bit, but overall very nice. And these are a 9B. I like a nice flat. I haven't run the comps on this, but I'm excited to do so. It's another piece from Club Monaco, and I hope it goes over well. I think I'm just like riding high off the last one. This is beautiful teal sweater. Um, it is a little bit cropped and it has this like little gathered sleeves over here. Really cute. Um, we'll see how that does. And then I picked up this dress and I've been very cool on ASOS lately because I feel like it just doesn't sell, but I thought this was a really pretty dress. Just a very simple ivory little dress. I thought it was just adorable. It had the lace detail Again, for $1.75, I'm hoping to get about $20 for this. This is a Prana. I believe this is probably a um, bathing suit top, uh, although it could be a sports bra, but it's really nice. Um, it is a size large. I love this color, and the back is super cool. Prana. Um, and then just one more pair of shoes. And they're not that exciting, but they're not bad. They're these kind of like tweed toms of Maine. So, wow, I really went off the wagon here. Fell off the wagon, that's, that's the expression. Look at me, you can tell I'm tired. Ben's days are a lot. However, all of that for $100. I'm going to sign off right now. I'm going to add everything up. I'm going to remove the things. Oh, and one more thing. This was one of the first things I found. My friends were horrified that I put it on, but it's like it was brand new. I mean, absolutely brand new Patagonia hat. And it was on the floor and it was bright white. I mean, this alone retails, I think I sold my last Patagonia, it was new for $24, but how cute. I love these colors. So all of this for $100, I mean, A plus to the bins in Boston. I just can't get enough of that place, but it's a lot of work. Now I have a lot of work ahead of me and I've been trying to not do these giant hauls, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not leaving the house tomorrow. I'm not leaving the house on Friday and I won't be sourcing this weekend. I have two returns to make to Savers. And so I'll probably just exchange and get something for that. But other than that, I will be home working. You have 
purchased something or asked for something for me and I haven't gotten back to you from previous hauls, I have put it aside for you. So even if I didn't make the connection yet, some people I have invoiced and I'm waiting for payment. But anyways, um, message me. All my information is down below. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, I do more regular updates over there. So that's Lori's Bust and Found on Instagram. And um, if you enjoyed this, would you please consider subscribing to my channel? It means so much to me as my channel grows to keep connecting with people. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And hopefully by the time you see this, I'll have a lot of this stuff listed for you. Thank you so much. Make it a great one and I'll be back real soon. Thanks everybody. Bye.